As the world leaned on the reliable hands of security guards to curb a community spread of COVID-19, one security company ensured its guards were ready to face the challenges posed by the coronavirus. That's the focus in part two of the best and the bravest with security companies. The best and the bravest. Discovering the gems in everyday life. Brought to you by... Last week we saw how security guards were coping with COVID-19, but how did security companies equip their employees to battle an invisible enemy? Sensitizing us of our safety, giving us PPE, sanitizer, alcohol, masks, you name it. Guardsmen, along with the clients, ensures that the officers are properly briefed on what is to be done. According to CEO of Guardsman Kenneth Benjamin, certain guards were given a specialized training. Uh, things like hospitals would be a totally different training, say, from the airports. Because, you know, about hospitals, you never know who's coming in and for what. And, you know, some people might even be coming in looking fairly healthy, but they, they're getting a itching in their throat and they're coughing or something. So you know the likelihood is that they might be infected. But even with proper protective equipment and training, COVID-19 can still strike. We have had a couple of incidents where guards may have thought that they, come, they had come in contact with persons who were um, carrying the virus. And we very quickly isolated them, got the necessary checks done on them. They did the tests and once proven clean, they were returned to duty. And when lockdowns started, guards were at an even greater risk. It was a challenge for the officers to hold order on the outside of the supermarket because, you know, everybody wants to get in. So no matter how the officers were trying to get them to distance, maintain the social distancing and all of that, people were just desperate to get in and therefore would crowd the doors. It soon became evident that for some guards, their health was not the only thing threatened. The moment COVID stepped in, it's been like a downfall. Basically, we've been out of work for like about three months. Most of us, not everybody. So, but we get the option to, to, to work elsewhere. Despite these challenges, those who continued showing up have proved to be some of the most loyal members in our communities. For the best and the bravest, I am Dashan Hendricks.